Professor Alex Dyson. Good evening. Um, look, the Triple J OE crawl is over. And to make up for the liver, brain cell and hymen damage that took place over the last seven hours <laughs> of demonic filth, uh, we're going to be learning. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as I change tabs on this <laughs> into this and I do this, ladies and gentlemen, this one time at band camp, <laughs> a probing look into the past, present and future of jazz flute. Now, we've all seen pictures like this on the internet, but... Uh, well, what's he doing? <laughs> what's he... Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my... Mm. <laughs> all, right, all you need to do, says Bryce, is read this... and then blow this... <laughs> on your Bryce. <laughs> Which brings us to the jazz flute in the future. Future. <laughs> yes, sir. What is it about the flute that you like the most? Um, probably the noises that it makes. <laughs> and consequently, the women that I get. Next question. <laughs> if you look at it sideways, it would be somewhat erect. No. The recorder... <laughs> is, um, ...is somewhat flaccid. And so the women will still be at your door. Unfortunately, no sex will occur. Any last question? To help demonstrate the flute, can you please welcome up to the instruments the Hungry Kids of Hungary? Uh, they very kindly offered to play a song for us so we can demonstrate the, the flute in action. That's what we were going for, um, there we go, earlier on. So, um, and please welcome uh, Richard, ladies and gentlemen. Richard, the jazz class. Spatially, I was unaware, and I'm, I'm so sorry, I've just trodden a young girl's glasses while walking across the desk. Um, see you next time! Bye.